Thanks for staying with us on infrastructure now. The central zone of the Ijo Youth Council, IYC, has expressed its discontentment with the non-inclusion any road in Bowser State among the 21 roads recently approved for construction and rehabilitation by the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation NNPC in the six geopolitical zones in the country. The federal government had approved 621 billion naira for the reconstruction and rehabilitation of 21 roads across the country by the NNPC. They faulted the decision, adding that the neglect of the state is an indication that it has never been on the framework of the corporation. However, it's among states in the top chart of petroleum activities in the country. It has not been planned properly. See, sometimes executive orders can be very dangerous. This one will help NMPC to steal well. This is the time for them to steal properly because who will keep the books of record? Who will do it now? Who will question NMPC? Because I speak to you today, Bayasa is not there. And Bayasa, is Bayasa not a producing state? Do you want them to agitate before they are added? Does Bayasa even need to talk before they are added? They also frown at the level of hunger ravaging Nigeria, which has led to agitations in some parts of the country. The IYC president urged stakeholders to give youths and women more chance in piloting the affairs of the country. All of us in this country must now live with conscience. The youths are those who I have seen that had the greatest conscience, but unfortunately they are the most oppressed. The other section of people in this country that have had enough conscience and have borne the pain of Nigeria are the women. Very clear. There is no proper policy in place. No policy statement from this government. They will say gender equality is a lie. Once it's not in reality, it's a lie. There are just three wonderful solutions, which I pick from the holy books, the Quran and the Bible. Number one, justice, equity, and integrity to exact carry life. Just combine these three things and make it obligatory or religion, really make it a way of life. These things will wipe away all the insecurity. It will wipe away all the cries of marginalization. It will enthrone good governance. Politicians and past military regimes fail to understand that by destroying the traditional institution that holds the values of the people, you are indirectly or directly destroying the nation. The IOIC president urged President Mamad Buhari to, as a matter of urgency, inaugurate the board of the Niger Delta Development Commission. Moving on, a shrine located within the Ocean Oshobo sacred grove will be conserved for posterity, thanks to a $127,000 grant from the United States Mission in Nigeria. Plans were concluded with the signing of a memorandum of understanding in Lagos for the digital documentation, training, and conservation planning for the World Heritage Center. It was an evening of signing of a memorandum of understanding and reception at the United States Consular General's residence. $127,000 will be going to SEARC a non-profit to document and make conservation plans for the Bosonian Shrine located at the Oshun Oshobo Sacred Groove. The money is courtesy of Ambassador Fund for Cultural Preservation Program, which aims to preserve historic buildings, monuments, crafts, and cultural expressions. Through projects like this one in the Sacred Grove, the United States and Nigeria are actively cooperating on means to protect Nigeria's cultural heritage. We are also finalizing a bilateral agreement that would establish restrictions against the import into the United States of prohibited items of cultural property. The agreement also would encourage public and private cultural institutions and law enforcement agencies in both countries to work together on repatriating trafficked objects and fostering cultural exchanges. This is a great opportunity to bring in specialists that will work on digitization 
of our World Heritage Site. The Busoni Shrine is one of eight monuments within the Ocean of Shobu Groove. The groove itself has been hit by natural disaster, which is one of the considerations for a 3D digital documentation. The 3D digital documentation of the shrine is the necessary first step to provide the most accurate record of the current conditions of the site and effectively plan a restoration project that will increase resilience of the site during a natural disaster or extreme weather conditions. They also stress that the MOU signed will foster better preservation that will enable next generation appreciate culture. By signing this agreement, they have moved a step forward by preserving it. We know that it's going to continue because we know now Oshun will not just die off and erosion will not carry Oshun to go. Please come to Oshogbo. It's the most extraordinary um, sculpture garden if you want to look at it this way. It's the most incredible uh, spiritual place. Oshun Oshogbo's sacred groove is Nigeria's second world heritage site. The 3D digitalization will allow the groove to remain intact as a cultural landmark in years to come quite interesting as this will encourage public and private cultural institutions and law enforcement agencies in both countries to work together on repatriating trafficked objects and fostering cultural exchanges. On an alternative dispute resolution, without communities collaborating with the police, there is no amount of equipment given to them that would be effective in securing the nation as such. The federal government must uh, make a deliberate effort to bridge the trust deficit in the country. Residents of Utumara community, like most Nigerians, have butterflies in their stomach, just at the chair mention of the Nigerian police. The sight of the uniform alone is like a bad dream to some during loss of confidence and lack of trust in the police and their activities, with deep-rooted bitterness in the hearts of the populace. The forum gave ample opportunities to the people to bear it all. It's the issue of bail. You see, we need to tackle that thing seriously. They are deceiving the, our people, they are deceiving us. Everybody is crying of police to be a friend, even though you have a police as a personal friend. You won't tell him, him or her some things about you. The police also had a voice. Regarding citizens and police, two of police, as far as police is concerned, as far as security is concerned, to know how you will do without police. Describing the gathering as apt National Coordinator Alternative to Violence Project Nigeria, Ike Chiamaka, said it will go a long way at restoring the needed trust between community and security agencies. This kind of meeting, gathering, will go a very long way, but on one purpose. If the two, the two people must agree to, to trust each other. And you know one thing, trust is not something that just starts just like that. It's something that builds up every day. Executive Director Prawa, Dr. Uju Agomo, said the opportunity presented opens up a process to hear the concerns of the community members, different groups in society, and also hear from the security agencies. She, however, noted that for the desired impact not to be lost in the wind, trust must match actions. Trust, yes, you're right. It is something that will take time. But it has to be a purposeful, there must be a purposeful process to ensure that we continue to do this. It's about building. It's like when you want to build a house. You start with a foundation and gradual and gradual and gradual. So yes, but if it's better, we start late than we never. As relative as a word trust might sound, it might just be the recipe needed to oil the wheel of a lasting relationship between the public and the Nigeria police. From Lagos, love Ikuku Oyedukun for Plus TV, Africa. And finally, on health insurance, Lagos State Office of Civic Engagement and the State Health Management Agency were in a joint effort to educate residents in 20 local government areas about the health insurance provided by the government. This is in a bid to ensure that all the residents of Lagos State have access to affordable health care. The event was titled Lilera Eco 
grassroots, sensitization and enrollment drive. Plus TV, Africa's Destiny Momo was there. As the saying goes, health is wealth. And for this cause, Lagos residents are set to enjoy good health through a friendly insurance scheme made available by the government. Special advisor to Governor Song Wu Lu on civic engagement alongside her counterpart in the health management agency deemed it fit to sensitize the residents on this health provision. This was passed into law about six years ago in 2015, but the commencement started in 2020. And right now we felt that a lot of people are not aware about this health, care, health insurance scheme and that we need to go out to all the 20 local government to sensitize, to sensitize our citizens and let them explain to them the reason why they need this health insurance. If she needs a caesarean section, it is free of charge. If she needs blood, it is free of charge. We also have laboratory tests, diagnostic tests, so you have chest x-ray, ultrasound scan. You have an emergency, we will take care of it under this plan. We also have um, surgeries, so whether you have an appendixectomy, for instance, which is covered under this plan, it is free. Whether you have a hernia, we will operate you, it is free, and so on and so forth. The, what we did was to look at what are the commonest things that bring people to the hospital. And this plan, as cheap as it is, covers about 80% of what people will need when they come into a health facility. Dr. Emanuela Zamba gave more information on the ailments covered by the insurance and the choice of hospitals available for use. First of all, I will share with you the information that we have about 220 plus hospitals that are providing Ilera Eco across Lagos State. Some of them are private and some of them are public. Things like glasses that we were not providing before, we will start providing from the 1st of December. Things like if you have um, a, you develop cancer, for instance, as you mentioned, we are able to reinsure and cover that person for about one, up to one million of that person's costs for treatment of that cancer. The healthcare scheme for one person is 8,500 naira per year, which if you, if you divide that into 365 days, about 23 naira per day. The commencement of this vigorous sensitization of the grassroots on the Lagos State Health Insurance Scheme, Ilera Eco, in the 20 local government areas of the state, is aimed at promoting the health plan as well as scale up enrollment of residents. Destiny Momo for Plus TV Africa. And that's all on this edition of Plus Report. Please follow us at Plus TV Africa on Facebook and Instagram and do subscribe to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. I'm Jacinta Ubiuku. Thanks for watching.